majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Hardly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Training. Your first mission originally took place in Sydney, Australia. The target was Calvin Ritter, also known as the Sparrow. Master thief for hire, specializing in rare and priceless art. Our agent cleverly infiltrated Ritter's private yacht during a social gathering and discreetly eliminated him without any of the guests noticing. Now you will do the same. Oh, and don't worry about the training operatives. All weapons are simulated. Good luck, Initiate. Hey, buddy. I'll have to stop you there. Hey, leave when you're told to... Leave, okay? put on his clothes. That's a first. It might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Right like this? This is just fabulous, isn't it? Oh, it's such an eye for detail. Colors, the fabrics, the art, all curated with so much love and care. Everyone provided for? Good. When Mr. Norfolk arrives, makes me drink and have her take a seat. For sure, Mr. Norfolk. I'll keep an eye. That is your target, Calvin Ritter. Yeah, sorry, man. No mechanics through here. Charmer.
Huh. You don't waste any time, do you? Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. simple taste that Calvin Ritter. Saw this painting, an original Gorka. Thing is, I could have sworn it was stolen from the Stuyvesant's so private collection New in one's broken too. I back. swear to God, Kalista. I think technology hates me. Back already? It's a sign, Calvin. Buddy, You're making us look bad. Beat the world Chew your food seen. wide Ending in, I see. <laughs> well done, Initiate. The next generation will be breaking into computers, not museums and bank vaults. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. Funny how you and the universe always tend to agree. Isn't it? Anyway, you told me this Norfolk job would be your last. And now I overhear the crew talking about Istanbul and Stockholm? What gives, Calvin? I didn't lie, Callista. Look, you don't have to retire just because you leave the field. Most great players simply become managers. <laughs> you're recruiting. Ah, now you're catching on. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. <laughs> well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. No. Uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, Excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Uh, lead the way. Well, I was hoping Giles would join the future. But we are going to be invincible, Maureen. This merger could have come in a more kids? opportune time. The world's Three biggest boys? video rental chain and its largest music retailer together at last. No sailors, please. Don't make any trouble. Just leave. Right. So, got the blueprints. Most impressive. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk. And you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a revolution. Fifty years ahead of its time, maybe even more, maybe 75 or 100. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now what's that password? Always slips my... Mind. Just a moment, Mr. Norfolk. Your target is down. Now head towards an exit. Look at all those stupid snobs. They don't even know what's going on. Well, there's stuff in their face. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's all nice. Crap. Or, uh, you hit, hit the bullseye there, sir.
Keeping out the back door. Good choice, Initiate. Improvisation is the key to success. You know, I saw him once. This guy, Mr. Rare, only comes down like once a year. How are you, yeah. sailor? What's he look like? He's an art dealer, right? What should we say? So you expect this guy. Challenge complete. Good one, Initiate. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They can only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. Welcome back, Initiate. As an ICA agent, every challenge you face can be overcome in multiple ways. Complete this exercise again, this time attacking it from a different angle. Vary your strategy. Improvise. We will be watching. Fabulous, isn't it? Oh, it's such an eye for detail. The colors, the fabrics, the art. All curated with so much love and care. It's amazing. Who 
are you? <sighs> you. Sure Bernie ah. cared about art, but no, Bernie likes musicals. I will be forced to take Jesus. action. to get hurt. You follow me? Watch it, dude. Too. I swear to God, Kalista, I think technology hates me. It's a sign, Calvin. You're the finest thief the world has ever seen, but things are changing. The next generation will be breaking into computers, not museums and bank vaults. This is the universe's way of telling you to quit, to get out of the game while you still can. Funny how you and the universe always tend to avoid. Isn't it? Anyway, you told me this Norfolk job would be your last. And now I overhear the crew talking about Istanbul and Stockholm? What gives, Calvin? I didn't lie, Calista. Look, you don't have to retire just because you leave the field. Most great players simply become managers. You're recruiting. Ah, now you're catching on. The Sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Not corner, a man right? of simple taste that Calvin <laughs> yeah, yeah. Saw this painting, that one. an original Gorka. <laughs> thing is, I you
I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission, the high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This is your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, he even added additional guards. Soda's wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program will not raise any eyebrows. He did not, however, factor me into the equation. If Soda's can bend the rules, then so can I. Good luck, Initiate. Stop! You can't walk through here. Turn around and go back. something odd. Print out the safety protocol for the jet. Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, do we really have to do this, all things considered? We're putting a pasty-faced egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kinda think we do. <sighs> I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just tick the box and get it done. Escape by fighter jet. Sounds dangerous. It doesn't make sense. The, the man is like a sitting duck, staying in Cuba. It's only a matter of time before Langley catches up with him. If I was night, he'd be long for Now he wants his own across the curtain. Naturally, Kremlin says no. It wasn't part of the agreement. Knight says he's got documents on the other Soviet spies in the U.S. Documents about Lincoln to the 
wrong hands in case anything happens to him or his girlfriend. Jasper Knight certainly knows how to make an exit, but first he needs to test the jet's safety equipment, including the ejector seat. Huh. Done, Initiate. I dare say this is an accident waiting to happen. Lieutenant Colonel. Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Must we really? Is it dangerous? Well, it must be, mustn't it? Why else? Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one, strap yourself in. Okay, all strapped in. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, just a moment. Uh, yes, found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right, here it goes. Pull.
Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world, disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand, and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right. I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name. Nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. You were always the best. Nobody ever came close. You define the art, and it defines you. Your actions have changed the world. Powerful men have fallen by your hand, but by the same token, others have risen. Do you realize what kind of world you've been shaping? Does the ICA? Does your handler? I live in that world. I have seen the consequences. I have felt the cost. That's what defines me. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguin, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguin owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. 
At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dalia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck. Make it big, bold, and impossible to ignore. And with newly appointed head designer Sebastian Sato at the helm, tonight's show should prove no exception. Cut! Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Real considerate. Am I staying out of my shot? <laughs> Please enjoy the show, sir. Whatever. Good evening, sir. Welcome to San Quentin. Look, that is Viktor Novikov, head of Sanguin and ringleader of Iago. Quite the resume. Congressman, a pleasure as always. Uh, make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, uh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman. Urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Have fun, goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? Watch it! I had that jaw. <laughs> Stop, you look fine. I know I look fine, but he's like a like a Greek god or something. You know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know, like in the same room as us. Helmut? According to our intel, Helmut Kruger is friendly with Dahlia Margolis. I suspect that Iago uses fashion models to infiltrate the lives of the rich and powerful, and Kruger is likely one of their spies. His face paint conveniently obscures his features, and the two of you already share a striking resemblance. Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush earlier when you put on his makeup. Oh, Sorry, sir, not allowed to let you through here. Please step back. Thank you. You can't make me. How about that? Huh? The hell I can't. One simple phone call, remember. Sorry, no access here. Please move on. That guy looks I don't have time to argue. Move on. Oh my god, 
God. They, they know. They, they know, okay? They know what we're up to. They've caught Haley and we're next. It was a mistake to come here and grab those cops nose in a Valerie. Okay, now give me ethereal. Oh, great. Okay, now caveman. I want a pure out of fistic masculinity. Okay, you're, you're, you're a Greek god. Give me. Dahlia, Helmut. Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. I'll, I'll be up after the show. Y yes, ciao. Yeah, Dan, it's me. Oh, uh, you're watching the live feed. No, not anytime soon. Actually, I'm... I'm doing this thing for Dahlia Margolis. It might take a while. Don't ask. <laughs> of course you'll get your 10%, Dan. Look, we both know that I'm past my prime. There's no way but down, Dan. And it's not like I've been an ascetic here. But this way, if I do this, I can leave the game with some startup cash. A lot of startup cash, actually. And I can go into business on my own. Well, I'm... I'm...
Hello, Mr. Kruger. Dahlia, Helmet here. Remind me again, where were you supposed to meet? Second floor. Voltaire's meet, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No. No, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, and come see me right away. Looks like real clothes. That intestines theme show I did with Sato last year? Not so much. And I never had a Up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. We'll take a sip. Appreciate it. Mr. Kruger. Good evening, sir. Please come in. I hope you enjoy yourself. Uh, Mr. Kruger, let me know if you need new bodyguards. Okay? Call me. Mr. Jordan Cross? Trend po. You have been You're in. Good work. So this is the auction of secrets. Access to the auction and a private audience with Dahlia Margolis. Nice and done, Please have a seat. 
So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting? The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show, so Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York, seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful. Should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. <sighs> We've got trouble. Yes? Well, it's a little late now, isn't it? No, no, I'm gonna deal with this immediately. Selena's a big girl. She knew what she was getting into. Put a detail on her, and if she shows signs of cracking, pull her out. Fine. We'll talk later. Sorry about that, Helmut. So, a toast. To a fruitful collaboration. Here, here. Oh, and Helmut. That is Dahlia Margolis, supermodel turned spy master. Well done, 47. Victor Novikov is next. I read this book about the fashion industry through the ages. There is this whole chapter. Hello, I mean, is, Mr. Is Kruger. Margolis' dad was some yeah, overzealous yeah. Israeli army general. Mr. Kruger? Hey, hey, come on, come on, get up, snap out of it.
third-rate contractor did this home. You gotta be. Thank you. You are too, really too kind. I have been told that these are my most accessible designs yet. But don't let the bright colors and the classical cuts fool you. No, 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 no. The themes I'm exploring here are perhaps my darkest yet. I've explored feelings of powerlessness, duress, Coercion. The notion that, that free will <laughs> is only an illusion. That we are all controlled by sinister forces cynically preying on our vices and weaknesses. But, <laughs> like the pleasant design suggests, we put on a brave face. A mask of normality. To make us appear happy. Successful. And above all, in control. But deep down, who really is? Huh? Well, thank you, and good night. Lockdown situation, please leave now. Okay, now how do I get out of here?
Mr. Kruger? How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor, good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the Jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone, anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet, fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and can potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. 
Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get close to the virus. Good luck, 47. Come on, man. You're not coming through here looking like that. Rocco! Get down here this minute! You can't be late for your first day! Relax. It's all good. Just gotta put some pants on. Rocco, I recommended you to Chef Marcello personally. If he's unhappy with you, I'll get the blame. I could get fired. Is that what you want? Oh, please. Like, you want to wait on that weirdo Caruso for the rest of your life? Come on, you gotta think big, sis. This, man, all this here is just temporary. Oh, that weirdo is your boss, Rocco. Chef Marcello Ray has hired a new kitchen hand by recommendation. And the two have yet to meet. Could be a convenient way to infiltrate the mansion. FYI. According to our research, Chef Morcello has been trying to replicate Isabella Caruso's famous home cooking, but Silvio Caruso is not impressed. I suggest you give him a helping hand. Get your shit together, and you're asked to work. Pronto! It's almost lunchtime. Okay. Just don't get it. I'll be right there. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this? I told Mother I wasn't going to be his crutch anymore. <sighs> Good for nothing, deadbeat loser.
rat under my boat this morning. Ah, oh, good. Must mean the poison's working. Let's just hope the escaped critters haven't had time to molt. Chef Mocello, I'm the new kitchen hat. Sorry I'm late. You're damn right you are. Never mind. Yeah, you can finish this tomato sauce. Maybe you can get it right. I seem to be jinxed. When you're done, ring the dinner bell. Sure thing, Bob. I'll give it some love. What the hell? Hey, dude, if you didn't look like a loony, I'd kick your ass. Hi, Chef. Caruso will be coming to lunch shortly. His last meal, I presume. That is Silvio Caruso. Lunch is served. Pasta bolognese. Via Caruso style. This again. Well, you are tenacious. Oh, terrible. Just awful. My dear sweet mother would be turning over in her grave if she knew how you butchered her family recipe. And on her death day anniversary. For shame, Mr. Ray. Hardly what I would call a eureka moment.
Look, we don't need any cooks messing with stuff here. So you're not coming through. Target down. Next up, Francesca DeSantis. Hey, you can't come through here. I don't know, use the kitchen entrance. Francesca DeSantis is evidently having an affair with Caruso's golf coach, Roberto Vargas. A notorious ladies' man, Vargas has turned DeSantis's bedroom into a candlelit love nest and plans to call on her after his golf lesson with Caruso. Well, she should know better than to mix business with pleasure. Francesca. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not the one who calls. I did say that, but, uh, hey, the guy can change. So, did you get my message? Music to my ears. We'll meet up in your room, okay? I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. He's unusually patient today. No, please. Surprise me. Chuck Bell. Observatory? I don't know. I guess he does his research. Yeah, I know. But sometimes I see when we're alive, watch the movies and stuff. Oh, you see the trailers. You know, I heard he's also working on his memoirs. Maybe that's what he's doing. Hey, show some respect. It's our boss. Mr. Caruso is a very intelligent man. What he does in there is it.
It's me. Roberto. Silvio let you off early. I want us to meet. Your room. Mm, I should say no. But you won't. See you soon. That guy's gone. Please show yourself. That is Francesca DeSantis. Candles, my favorite. You are impossible, Roberto. Look, don't talk. Just listen for a second. I like you, Roberto. You're a lot of fun, and I could even see this. I mean, I, I, under the right circumstances, we... The situation, it's complicated. You see, Ether, the company I work for, they didn't just send me here to assist Caruso. They sent me here to spy on him. They fear he is becoming a liability, a threat even. And from what I have seen so far, I think they might be right. This could be dangerous, and I thought you deserved to know. So. Now you know. Hmm. Wait. Two targets down. Now destroy the virus. Hey man, keep smiling and keep cooking. So 
Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Stay vigilant, sir. Say what?
gotta be kidding me. Leave it to me. You, hold it! Put that body down! On! This field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit.
multiple machines okay. held together. Right. Well, this is the control panel for the air purification system. We're at a critical stage of development, and we keep the central lab perpetually... In case of an accident, the central lab unit is kept perpetually doused in chemicals to stop the virus prototype from spreading. Entering without a hazmat suit is sure to be lethal. The air purification system is able to clear the toxin, but the controls are only operated by senior lab personnel. Doused in chemicals. In case of an outbreak. in a sealed container. The virus prototype. Warning, dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Test sample incompatible. All objectives complete. Now head towards an exit. Hmm. Maybe we're looking. 
Looks like we're prepared for toxic spills, sir. The security's in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you mind? How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. Then we're even. Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. 
our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder keg, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown, but the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. All right. No, he is capitalism. I mean, that's what we all want this day and age, right? Uh, not me. That's a load of rubbish. It reminds me of a beautiful memory from my child. Don't get involved. Should we take action? No, no, we can't. Matters of national. They will only bring more instability. Run a shoot shot. It's out of my hands. Take it up with military command. They so enjoy. The printing crew spreads fake propaganda in the name of Crystal Dawn, the Pan African Liberation Movement. This encourages Moroccan citizens to rise up and take justice into their own hands, which, of course, is exactly what Zaydan is counting on. Very clever. Now. According to the printing schedule, the crew is out hanging posters, and they are likely to wear masks. Now step aside, citizen. is closed until further notice. Citizen, how Orwellian of you! Are you snail meat? Snail meat? No bones. Want to try some snail meat? Hey, watch it, Snail meat? Snail soup? Snail soup? So what? Think they're gonna stroll? Hey, got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Jeez, what does General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What is too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're terrible. Who are they going to complain to? <laughs> um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are going to be more about the crystal dawn and more about the guy who pays our wages. Ah, yes. The risk of being hanged.
Yeah, go Done. Crystal Dog. Let's head back. Woo yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. No idea what's about to happen. Don't think about it. Just do the job. Some soldiers back at the school. I've heard them talking. They have big Crystal Dawn headgear and old Afghan rifles, and they were planning to shoot the protesters. You know, to get things rolling. Like I said, don't think about it. When brass like Zayden play their games, there's always collateral damage. Just make sure you're not in. Huh? A colorful lamp's the best Hello. in Morocco. Hi, welcome, welcome. Please, what would you like? My special house blend is famous in all of North Africa. Thanks. Good to be hey, back printer. again. Back up some house blend, please. The food is so bland in the U.S. You wouldn't believe it. It's insane. Just please your shit. True that. Why? Why? Hey, Mr. Printman, can you set my printer to stop? Me. About time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make, and you boys do not want to keep him waiting. Hey, tell Michael in the print shop to stop texting my girlfriend. work 47 now to locate general zaydan so what did he do the prisoner uh, never you mind general zaydan says the man's a traitor and that's all there is to it attention everyone that you is general reza zaydan so keeper of Crystal the peace Dawn are on everyone's lips that is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs this means there will be no breaks not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. What the? He probably deserves it. Lousy traitor. Target down. Move on to Klaus Strandberg.
propaganda. Hey there, soldier. So quickly, we never expected something like this. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Hello, trooper. According to the appointment schedule, Klaus Strandberg has booked a massage to relieve his back pains. No doubt all that time in prison has caused muscle stiffness. The masseur, who works at a local clinic, has apparently already checked into the building. Massage expert Connie Angstrom reported at the reception desk. That was Connie Angstrom. Please go to the reception desk. It is not fair. It is. It isn't. You can't keep me in here under these circumstances. If I had known. Ah! Connie Engstrom, Monsieur, here for an appointment with Klaus Steinberg. Ah, oh, Mr. Engstrom. Please proceed to the massage room. It's upstairs on the right. I'll inform Mr. Strandberg. Oh. Klaus Strandberg, go to the massage room. Your session awaits. Sorry, bud. Uh, I repeat. I'm gonna have to frisk you. Klaus Strandberg. Please go to the massage room. Uh, sir, if you cooperate, we'll be done in just a second. Thanks, sir. You're clean. Well, I heard he did an Iron Man in Hawaii last year. Ah, so, the man with the golden touch. Uh, let's get started. Shall we? Ah, oh, this muscle tension is killing me. Why don't you lie down, Mr. Strandberg? Oh, please, call me Klaus. Well done, 47. I will leave Strandberg in your capable hands. Ah, oh, that's the ticket. I tell you, nothing makes you tense like thousands of people wanting to kill you. <laughs> Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. Oh, hey, you... Wish I could walk. Huh.
compromise. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Comp? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Dig a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chao Praia River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok, 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I am sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Welcome to the Himapan. you know who is resigning because of personal reasons and because allegedly compromising material has been leaked? So what is it, do you think? I mean, it screams dick pic, right? But really, it can't be just that, is it? I mean, for him to resign? It has to be something more twisted, don't you think? Something really fucked up? Come on, aren't you dying to know? I don't even know why I keep hanging out with you. You're putting me down every chance you get. Always making fun of me and my opinions. You know...
According to the schedule, the exterminator plans to inspect the Emperor's suite. On his request, the hotel manager will clear out the recording studio and bring everyone into the atrium for the duration of the inspection. I suggest you locate the exterminator, 47. He appears to be fumigating on the ground floor. Relax, Chief. I got it covered, okay? Besides, even at very large doses, this compound, it's not lethal for humans. I mean, okay, okay yeah, yeah, sure, it knock you out for a bit. I, yeah, yeah, give you a headache, probably, but, uh, I mean, that's about it. Imagine the lawsuits. Whoa, not gonna happen, Chief. Believe it or not, I've done this before. No, you can't! Concentration's good. Uh, let's give it another hour to be on the safe side. Not on my way. Holding owns a swath of real estate in the Bangkok area. The Hemipan is only one of them. Aha. Uh -huh. According to the hotel manager's memo, drunken members of Jordan Cross's sound crew broke into the Queen Suite last night and trashed the place. Housekeeping is fast at work, which is why Ken Morgan and his bodyguard are not yet settled in. Sounds promising. According to the manager, a member of staff is supposed to escort Morgan to his suite once the cleaning staff is done. That someone... Could be you, 47. I know how you love to grovel. Ah, these multinationals like to branch out. That is Ken the Brick Morgan, lawyer and corporate fixer. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was relatively fast. Very well. Lead the way. 
I built half the world. Everybody loves a winner. And I'm a winner with hey. capital W. Now, you know my maid? She thanks me every morning. Apart from that, I would like to add that the food here is so wonderful. Like, even their fast food is simply delicious. Ghastly burger, it's divine. Stands on every corner, right? Thank you. Anyway, please don't hesitate to ask so much to do this. I feel like giving up my job and moving here. I mean, sure, I make a lot of money, but at the end of the day, how important is money? Yeah. Who's the jittery guy over there? Looks like another one of those rock stars. Uh, that's Abel De Silva? He's only one of the most awesome drummers on the New York indie scene. He was in Death and Taxes and, and Flat Earth Society. Yeah, uh, I, I like Top Boy. Great, now they're not even letting guests inside. The lounge, they closed it off. Don't yeah, let me get in your me. way. You look I mean, like, like a butler with an agenda. Place, room by room. As if the noise wasn't enough. It's getting rude. People pay good money to stay here. We're not second class citizens just because the owner's son decides to pop by. Ah, uh, the owner doesn't give a shit. He's the head of a media empire, probably only owns his own tax system. Whatever. There's plenty of other places to go. Yeah. Wow, a manservant. Here we are. I trust everything is to your liking. Hmm. A definite improvement. Hardly the Bourge à l'Arabe. Let's take a closer look. See there? A smear. As expected. But take care of it, please. So sloppy. Hmm. Covered in dust. I dare say this a definite improvement. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be in order here. Excellently done, 47. Let's make Morgan feel right at home. Uh, calcium stains. Why am I not surprised? You know what to do. Now, the scene of the crime. Hmm. Ground zero. Let's take a closer look. Shall we? Mm-hmm. Piers clean. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross.
picking anyone up for a ride down the river tomorrow? They say it's the Venice of the East, right? Uh, who are you again? Holy shit! Yeah. Hey, stop where you're going. Oh, hey, boss. Hey. This place really is something. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Oh, well, that's, that's really interesting. Like, did you make that up you're yourself? Oh, baby. Wait. You're, you're, you're joking, yeah. <laughs> Got me there talking all crazy and oh hey hey no you keep away from your not, crazy not person. Kidding. Oh. oh okay. Um I think you need some help. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. But sometimes you just say the weirdest shit, you know? Maybe you're right. Maybe I will change oh, my mind. I mean, who knows? Hey, who the hell are you? <sighs> you. I suppose you wish to inspect the penthouse very well. I'll make the call, but I'm warning you, no slip-ups. Especially not with young Master Cross on his way down. If any of those toxins get into the ventilation system, you could gas the whole atrium. Understood, ma'am. Yes, hello, this is the manager. I am so sorry to disturb... Oh, indeed, yes, the pest exterminator. Uh, he needs to inspect the Emperor's suite now. Could I possibly ask you and your team to... Oh, excellent, thank you. Please join us in the atrium for refreshments. I promise it won't take long. Okay, bye. Thank you. Yes, yes, I would like to make a complaint. They're vacating the suite. Be quick about it. I just called the number that says complaint department. Complaint department. Welcome, and thank you for choosing the Himmelpen. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, everything is just perfect. Just like the brochure said. Oh, enjoy your stay there, guests. The bar is open and the reception is ready to assist you with the check-in. Well, awesome. Can't wait to check out the bar. Stay clear of the bug man. Mr. Exterminator, clean up after yourself. That is Jordan Cross, revered and reviled in equal measures. Oh, gross. Bugs. Young Mr. Cross, I am so sorry for this inconvenience. Oh my, you look more like your father. Yeah, I just Have saw this big fat here. cockroach. Oh. Good thinking, 47. I dare say the possibility...
is horrendous. Something's going down. Uh, tell everyone to watch their asses. <laughs> it's not my time yet. <laughs> stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work, and the Highmores picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or it has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit. Yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. 
Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow climate. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map, mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite Light scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. That is Maya Parvati, Sri Lankan assassin turned pirate, turned insurgent. So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's a battering ram has injured one of the strike team, point man by the name of Burgess, and according to those militiamen, Maya Parvati oversees training. Sounds promising. I suggest you infiltrate the strike team 47. Perhaps you can relieve the hapless point man of his duties. Point man in the Mexico operation? Huh, got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know, I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? I It'll make her say. day. It's a beautiful piece of work. A murderous death trap. Well, you know, art comes and then dies. Good night. 
course it is. Oh, it gets good with a lot of things. That is Penelope Graves, acclaimed anti-terror hey. analyst. Uh, Strange to see her as part of this crowd. I had a weird encounter. Well, to be honest, we keep them quick. I don't much appreciate it. More of a Let's keep security airtight. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. Rose, her body. The point man is back in action. I expect you all to know this by heart. But but in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Elim eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Take them down. That is Sean Rose. Terrorist turned insurgent. Please proceed. Pretend I'm not here. Not a problem. All right, let's go again. On your marks. Ready. Set. Execute. <laughs> Overall performance was passable. Good speed and accuracy, but coordination needs to improve. The point is to build up muscle memory. A perfect sequence of synchronized motion. You need to be able to pull this Nicely off done, 47. Parvati won't know what hit her. Spectacular. He'd make an excellent. What is this? Two flies with one swat. Affirmative. Solid copy, one actual. Bag and tag and bodies found. You need to Out. give it up or face the consequences. So I just found out I'm a tiger. 
Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's Yeah, funeral. don't come oh, back. Fucking dick. Whole team moving like clockwork. Perfect execution. Thomas Cross was off site before he died. He noticed. Yeah, you whip. Go hide. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. Penelope Graves is still new to this outfit, and it looks like Rose is going to test her dedication to the cause. He's arranged for one of the communications technicians to act as an outside agent. The tech is supposed to show her an Interpol badge and escort her to the slurry pit, asking her to betray the militia. Might I suggest a last-minute recasting, 47? And nobody could switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. Hey. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention how far she'll go. You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I hear ya. Sure. What's up, Graves? Oh, you know, just, um, you know, wanted to make sure everything was running smoothly. So, the connection's secure? No weird signals or anything? No weird signals, no. Connectivity's a bit of a problem, but we're rerouting some things. It all looks fine. Should we be on alert? <laughs> no. No, I, uh, I just like making sure. <laughs> Big ears out there, you know? You can, um, never be too careful. Sure. We're on top of it. No need to worry. Glad to hear it. If you encounter anything unusual, let me know immediately. Yeah? Sure, Graves. We'll keep you in the loop. satellite reception. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, how about now? Your ex military mercenaries. I saw a couple of uh... Penelope Graves. We need to talk. What's up? Your... Uh, what is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. 
I'll see you there. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You can provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. <sighs> and what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you might prove unhealthy. I'll give you a few moments to think about it. Good work, 47. This should give her something to think about. So, look, it's nice of Rose to think of my safety and everything, but I need to do something on my own here, so just... come back in a few, all right? Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that Vanisher guy. It looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight. It can't possibly be that. Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. No, you know I can't let you through here. Come on, sorry. Move on.
sure. That yeah. is Ezra. Berg, former Mossad interrogator. His services are in He's demand at the moment. Heralds are only messengers. Forty-seven. It appears the door to the tornado shelter is protected by a biometric lock. To gain access, you need Sean Rose's body, or something equally convincing. Corridor is clear. Come on out! Keep those eyes peeled. Yeah, okay, I hear you. All clear. A salafi somewhere out there. Command, how do you, how do you read? read? Over. We have a man that needs to be set straight. He's making a real mess out there. Hey, buddy, you know what's best for you. What just happened? Let's stand down. Target is in the vicinity. Look alive. Thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Some kind of network. Power players. From all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross. Klaus Strandberg. Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. 
Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O., which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list. Found something. Sodas. But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man nobody's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. A warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Sodas, who suffers from a rare condition known as Situs Inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. 
As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gamma Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite, outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Sodas in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure, yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification chip. The device will unlock and allow access to your... Personal suite. Genki Desk. Forty-seven. I have intel. Well, this is quite fascinating. The bandaged patient is Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap. According to my intel, he has undergone full facial reconstruction and is scheduled for bandage removal today. And get this, 
He's going for the full Helmut Kruger look. Oh, hey, Stacy. It's Jason Portman. Yeah, just hanging out in Japan. Did you get the snap I sent earlier? Shut up, invisible man. You shut up. That's a good one. No, seriously. No, I'm in the final stages of that thing we always talked about. Back when we were, uh, you know, uh, item. Krugerification, it's happening. It's actually happening. <laughs> shut up, yes, two weeks from now. I could be the one on a podium in Paris, and nobody would know the difference. Cheekbones to die for. Cut glass, baby. Almost a shame you won't get to enjoy them, am I right? Am I right? Shut up, the gym? I don't have time for that. My good friends here have a plan for that as well. Full body graft. Muscle Doctor. implants. Why wait for months or years when surgeons and endless amounts of money that I have can make it happen in weeks? Screw the natural way. That's the... Oh. Shut up, I bet you would. Maybe I'll call you when I get back to L.A. Okay, we'll see. Bye, Stacy. Gonna nail that. Lisa, Lisa, sweetheart, I told you not to call me here. Well, I just checked my voicemail and you left nine messages in the last two Shut hours. Shut up, Helmut. No, wait. Oh, okay, look, it's very You're not Helmut. Worry, hey, bad form, dude. You, you stole my idea. Calls, remember? Hey, look, asshole. Maybe you can find oh, someone no, else to emulate. With How about, uh, around, I don't know, Jordan Cross? He's hot, right? Wow, this is super well, of course embarrassing. I'm not smoking. I'm here uh, for at an least operation. we don't attend the same social circles. <laughs> and why would I lie? Shut up, we don't, right? I've, uh, I've got connections. I can make you disappear for I good. You never to call the office. You... Honey, you can't call me there. Hey! Hey, man, hands. What the don't... hell? Ah. Nope, no way. Come in. Hey, How are you today, Ms. Yamazaki? Good evening. That is Yuki Yamazaki, former lawyer to the Yakuza and current operative for Providence. Very well. Please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. Ah, oh, Mr. Portman. Perfect timing. Follow me to the consultation hey, room, if you please. You hey, must be eager to see the new you. Gentlemen, Mr. Portman is with me. No need to bother him with unnecessary security measures. So, facial surgery? Tends to heal pretty quickly. But I understand yours was quite extensive. Don't worry, though. We've got the best facilities here. You'll get those bandages off in no time at all. Must be good to get out a little, stretch those legs. I do love the options available here at Gama, but I imagine it can get tedious to lie in bed all day. If you haven't been to the gym yet, you should really go. You're in good hands, Mr. Portman. Gump is such an incredible place. The medical facilities are beyond anything I've ever seen in the world. Well, with the exception of perhaps Kronstadt HQ or Ether's R&D facility in Johannesburg. Okay, Mr. Portman, your surgeon is in here. He should be ready for your checkup. Have a nice day. Smart way to get inside, 47. Well done. Mr. Portman, thank you for waiting. If you can just sit down for a moment, I'll get started right away. So, 
Let's have a look at you, Mr. Portman. Be still as I remove the bandages. Oh. Oh my. It's... It's, it's astonishing. Not only are you the spitting image of Helmut Kruger, the, the swelling has completely subsided and there's not a trace of bruising. If I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say he'd never undergone surgery. It's... it's perfect. It's simply perfect. I'm, I'm sorry. This is, uh... this is very emotional for me. It's me. Are we final victims? Thanks. Oh, he was very handsome. Rewarded. Not that he fully understood the rare thing. Oh, of course. <laughs> oh, that goes without saying. I do still wish. <laughs> That is the right-sided donor heart destined for sodas. This is what he sold out the ICA for. I'm planning to go to Europe. No, no, no! Oh, oh I'm... Solution 47, with sodas on the operating table, and no hope of getting a second right-sided heart in time, you have effectively killed him without laying a hand on him. This should be a clear message to anyone considering following in his footsteps. Tell me, is it true the boss was... Chin up, chest out. You know, even with the added security, 
This is the most relaxing gig I've been on with Ms. Yamazaki yet. I think you forgot something, sir.
That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. Burnwood. That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICA look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. I can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment but he's gone now ah well if you believe the questions died with him we have nothing further to discuss if not as I said I think we could help each other partners then Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We... <laughs> we are the lesser evil. This terrorist. He wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This... <laughs> this is maintenance. <laughs> 